Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Join me as I take a tour of the Invictus Week. It's the anvil out there, as you can see behind me. There's the carrot right there. And uh, I'm about to take a walk to the hall for the first time. I'll take you with me to take a look at what's available. I think most of you know most of these ships anyways, but we'll go through them and uh, I'll give you my thoughts about them. Also, I believe there's a couple of holograms of uh, concept ships. We have the, uh, the Crucible, Legionnaire, and Liberator. All very, very interesting ships. So stick around to the end because I have a lot to say about these three ships. Also see the Anvil, Spartan, Blister, and Centurion. Cool. All right, let us begin. And I guess uh, the centerpiece, obviously, the Carrick. Now, I'm going to get hate for this. <laughs> But uh, the ship I am most excited for when it comes to exploration is actually the Odyssey. It is not out yet, but um, the Odyssey speaks to me as far as design goes. Now, the Carrick is an OG. It's one of the older ships in the game. Uh, beautiful, obviously, in its design and its functionality. And those uh, turrets on the size, the size fives, right? Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but those are deadly. So don't get in the way of the side turrets. There are no pilot-controlled guns. But when it comes to exploration, this is the de facto. It's the go-to ship most people use because it's available right now. Uh, plenty of cargo space also for everything you need and lots of room inside for activities. Not to mention the med bay, which is extremely useful when playing with friends. And, uh, and I was distracted by what the hell is happening here. Am I missing some sort of meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, at least it's working. I like what this guy's wearing. Hello there. All right. Let's move on to the arrow. So, uh, the go-to PvP ships in the game right now, it is this. It is the arrow and it is the gladius. It's one or the other. Really comes down to what your preferences are. And uh, I gotta say, it's the, it's the ship I pull all the time. Uh, whenever there's something to shoot at, I go for the arrow. I just like the design. I like the way it looks. Um, if you recently bought the Fury, these are kind of, that kind of match up very closely, except the arrow has quantum drive, much more fuel. So we're definitely better in that sense over there. But yeah, I like the look of it. Uh, I take the arrow over the Gladius, just my preference. They're very, very close. So most of the top uh, PvP guys will go Gladius. But uh, just for the aesthetic of it, I do love the arrow more than the other ships. And I guess I will took it. Uh, oh. By the way, uh, Chrome Ninja, you were complaining that I wasn't dressed up for the last picture event went to. So I'm dressed up now in black and yellow, you see? <laughs> I pay attention. Aesthetic is very important. Uh, taking a look at the ship behind is the Gladiator. And... I don't want to say it's one of the forgotten ships, but it is one of the forgotten ships in this game. This is the original bomber, not that it drops uh, gravity bombs, but more of a torpedo kind of missile ship, smaller torpedoes and missiles. Uh, also, very early ship in the game, I am a big fan of the design of the wings. I love the way it looks, but I'll be honest with you, the amount of times I've seen people actually fly this ship, I can count on one hand. Uh, I believe I do have one. Maybe it's melted, but I used to have one. Uh, it's just not used widely anymore. There are other ships which do a lot more better than it, and uh, it's too bad. I think maybe you'll see this come in to the game when there's more reasons to fly it, but it's just not used very often these days at all. Moving over to the right, we have the Space Turtle, also known as the Terrapin. Uh, fan favorite. A lot of people love this ship. Obviously, there's not much to do for it in the game right now because it's kind of a, a data runner. You're supposed to infiltrate areas and uh, listen in on information or whatever the purpose is uh, when the game loop comes in for it. So it's going to be uh, one of the, I guess, better shielded as far as the shield armor. It's more of the armored ships in the game. That's the nickname, the turtle. Uh, I love it. I love the look. I love the aesthetic. Uh, I don't own one. I don't think I'm going to own one because I just don't know much about the game loop and how much uh, more benefit they'll be having this versus, us, say, the Mercury Star Runner. But uh, definitely a unique ship. I know a lot of people want to see a variant about this. They want to see a, uh, a medical variant. I think that'll be amazing if CIG does go and just slap a red paint up on this and make this uh, a medical Terrapin. Uh, heavily shielded, land in areas with a lot of uh, uh, oppressive fire and you can take some hits. Definitely a great idea, I think, and uh, I'm sure CIG has paid attention to that, but just not on their list of things to do 
right now, but if there ever was a good idea for a variant, the Terrapin medical variant would be it. And speaking of medical ships, I do believe we saw the medical Pisces right around the corner over here. And, uh, oh no, that's, a, that's the Hawk. All right, so here's a ship I do have and I do fly. Uh, on my one alt account, um, I have two or three ships, this being one of them. It doubles as a combat ship. Not the best of combat ships, but fairly decent. Well, like I was whooped across the screen over there. Uh, and what this ship is supposed to do, it's a game loop, not in the game yet. It is a bounty hunter ship because at the back end over here is this cute little compartment over there. Uh, you can do a bed log out out there, but when bounty hunting becomes a thing, you stick your bounty in there and off you fly. So I love the idea of that. Obviously, that is not a game loop in yet, but uh, I do love the idea of a small single-seater bounty hunting ship. You stick your bounty in the back, off you go, and get your reward. I'm a fan of it. The design is not for everyone. It is weird. It is not uh, a very standard design, but uh, I, I like it. <laughs> uh, it's got a cool window at the bottom where you can see yourself. You can look down and see landing very easily and uh, a couple of cool paint jobs on it and it's not too bad in combat uh, with the EMPs you can take down your opponent's shields and then uh, hammer them with your bunch of size ones uh, it is not bad at all now did I go I'm not crazy there are the medical Pisces right I didn't see it I think it's over here let's zoom around there we go Pisces all right so this Pisces uh, it fits in that chip over there uh, great little ship, but here is the big uh, winner of recent months, and that is the Medical Pisces. A lot of people have bought this. It's got a medical bed at the back. Not that um, it heals really bad injuries, but it's enough to stabilize. But also, uh, a little gimmick people use it for is if you don't have food or water, you go into the med bed and it uh, rehydrates you and feeds you magically. <laughs> so, a uh, cool little ship. Between the two of these, uh, I would definitely go for the medical Pisces. It is very, very useful. I want to make my way downstairs and see those holograms. Excuse me, fine people. Oh, I like your jacket. Where'd you get that? Let's make our way down and uh, take a look at the holograms, which is the thing I want to see the most over here. These holes are huge. Um, pro tip, take off your armor. You'll be able to run a lot faster and uh, not get hungry. The Spartan, um, definitely useful in transporting people along the ground. I mean, we've used it a couple times in operations, nothing too fancy, but the Centurion, if you've recently done Jump Town, those are great. If you can slap down four or five of them, well, I don't know if most people have that many, but uh, they are definitely a deterrent around Jump Town at securing the area around certain very beneficial areas you're trying to lock down. So putting down two of these, three of these, definitely makes it a lot more difficult for airstrikes to come in and uh, big fan of its functionality very very useful vehicle i recommend that if you are in groups at least one of you should be pulling one of those they are definitely useful and on this side we have the ballista which is the missile variant of that uh these things are deadly these torpedoes take down almost everything uh pretty decent lock on times also so a mix of the ballista and the Saturion, definitely very very important for ground ops i do recommend them Moving into the hologram area, let's do this. Beginning with... You are what? Liberator. All right. Okay. Good. Lots to talk about on this one because we just got uh, the Fury for sale. Now, the Fury doesn't have a quantum drive. You need to transport to places. Few ships will do as good a job as transporting things as the Liberator. And uh, for that reason alone, I would say, yes, this is definitely a buy, especially if you're into the pocket carrier kind of gameplay. Now, another Fury fits on many small ships, the C2, not small ships, it fits on many ships, the C2. It'll fit in uh, the Mercury Star Runner, it'll fit in the Caterpillar, multiple the Caterpillar. But the issue is getting in, opening the doors, leave it, leaving without hitting things or exploding. When you have a Liberator, you simply land on the deck and off you go. It's uh, very quick, it's efficient. Now, it's not going to be a pretty ship, this is not... Uh, a pretty ship to look at, I guess. Well, I, I mean, maybe for you. But uh, it is functional. And uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of uses for this in transporting small ships around like the Fury. So in my book, yes, this is definitely uh, an important one to have, especially if you're in larger groups. In the middle area, we have the... Let me just make sure I get the name before I say something wrong. The Legionnaire. 
Um, again, one I do own. Yes, this does look like a ship from Halo, doesn't it? The Pelican. Um, the Legionnaire is a boarding ship. And in the front over there is a docking kind of collar that's going to pop out. And you can dock onto ships with it. I love the look of it. I don't know how functional okay it is functional i don't know how important this is going to be in gameplay as far as boarding vessels go do you need to go and dock onto ships with it that's the purpose of it um i got it because i kind of just like the way it looks uh i don't know if it's going to be used specifically for docking but it's kind of a little troop carrier and uh that's what sold me on it just that it looks like a ship from halo <laughs> So, uh, I, I would say, is this uh, an important ship to own? No. Is this something that is going to be useful? Maybe. Uh, we'll have to see how it comes down to those docking operations and how important it is to actually use a docking collar for that. And this brings us over to the next ship here, which is the Crucible. Uh, yes. Very, very important ship. Now, if you did buy the Fury, and specifically, if you did buy the missile variant of the Fury, how do you restock and rearm? There are only a handful of ships that will be able to do it. And this is going to be one of them. The Crucible, or the Flying Toolbox, is a dedicated repair ship featuring rotating control bridge, detachable pressurized workspace. And uh, anything you need to be repaired kind of lands in the front and these arms will come up and basically do all the repairs and everything you need for that. So... Uh, very, very important ship to have in areas where there won't be space stations anymore. You're in combat, you're flying your small ships, you land on this, this thing fixes it up. Uh, am I wrong in saying it also refuels, or is it just repairs? Cruise versatile mobile garage upgraded with repairs, uh, operational equipment needed to overall damage craft back. Hmm. All right, correct me if I'm wrong, but is there no refueling and restocking? Is it only repair? If it is only repair, I should have checked my notes before I did this, but if it's only repair, then it's going to be the, the ship which repairs the best. There are other ships which do all those features in there. Uh, let's take a look at the end of this. Alright, oh, there's another F8, sweet. Alright, so we have a, a Hornet, a Hurricane, Valkyrie. Uh, let's start the F8, obviously. I know it's on the other side, but uh, let's take a closer look. This is the silver paint job. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Look at that thing. Yeah. Just take a moment to admire it. <laughs> one day, my pretty. One day. All right. So next to you is the hurricane. Um, not terrible. In fact, deadly. If you and a friend go into PvP with this, that top turret shreds. It does. This ship is often overlooked because it's just older and not used much, but it's definitely deadly. If you were in any kind of PvP and the other guy pulls up with one of these with someone in the turret there, uh, you're going to have a bad day. Um, it's a great ship, definitely. It's not new, so people aren't excited for it like they used to be, but uh, in PvP situations, definitely great. And uh, moving on to the Valkyrie over here. This is a, a dropship. Um... Nothing but good things to say. Nothing but praise. It is widely used. Uh, used a lot in operations where you have to get a bunch of friends to go places. Lots of jump seats on it. Lots of space in the back. You can carry a vehicle and cargo. Uh, it's definitely a must-have for large groups. If you have an org of 20 or 40 people, you should have at least one of these. Uh, nothing comes close in doing operations where you have to drop people off. The Valkyrie is the go-to ship for that and on this side we have a hornet the, the mark ii hornet which is the the do we is this in the game i don't you know i haven't flown the hornet in so long <laughs> but the mark ii over there and the f7c over here um i think we all know the hornets nothing new to say about that uh typical workhorse uh, a lot of people use them all the time and um I gotta say, I have not flown a Hornet in a very, very long time. As I said, when I go shoot something, I go straight for the arrow. Uh, if I'm not using the arrow, it's the Scorpius I've pulled. But uh, if you guys do fly the Hornet more than anything else, drop a comment below. Let me know why this still is your go-to ship. Uh, I think I'm just bored of the, the look of it. I'm just bored of the cockpit. 
I'm just going for the newer ships. And uh, I think that covers everything here. So thank you for joining me for my visit to Invictus for Anvil. Join me in two days for the next one. Is this one Misk? I think so. Uh, we're all waiting to see the Tumbral Storm, which is the new tank coming out. So join me for that. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, more exciting stuff coming. Comments below. Always appreciate it. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Meatbags.